Family Heat. In this division, once again, it's all about the feature win for these drivers as they make their way trackside here for their first and only six lap heat event of the night. Alan McDonald will go away from the pole in the 33 along with the 23 of Cole Perry. Row number two, Steve Tabor out of Carthage along with the 16 of Tim Bailey, also another Carthage native. Row three, Paul DeRutter from Inlet, New York on the 1D along with the 34 of Keegan Nyer. Final row to be Owen Nyer in the 17 and Joey Wilcox in the 93. So white is being displayed, green at next trip around. Steve Tabor, the two, not able to get fired off here, slowing to a basically a stop down here. Of course, our uh, regular chief director of traffic control, Mike LeClaire, away on assignment at a campground somewhere. So Dave Farney has uh, graciously stepped in to fill the role here this evening. Last time we saw Dave here, he was uh, twirling the flags for the Super Dirt Car Series Big Block Modified event we had here back on May the 18th. Those of you watching on Dirt Track Digest Television, welcome to the Can-Am Speedway. Pam and Mike are doing one heck of a job here tonight and all season. Thank you for all your hard work and dedication making it here each and every Friday night. Pam, you got the kid off to school safely, I'm assuming. Oh, I see what she's doing. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. Well, it's been a lot. It's been a blast having you folks here and we've got to do it one more week. One more week, the Dirt Car 358 Modified Series will be here. Well, those of you watching at home at Dirt Track Digest, glad you could join us. Those of you watching here live at the Speedway, just so happy you could be here. Dave Farney's glad to be here as well. Six laps the distance, the Donneth Motor Works Limited Sportsman. Heat number one is green. And Cole Perry rockets out into the race lead early on as Alan McDonald, Tim Bailey, Paul DeRutter, they're all knotted up back there from second on back. Three wide there for the two spot. It's going to be Paul DeRutter picking up the number two position. Tim Bailey, Alan McDonald, and the Nyers going at it as well up off of turn number four and across the line for lamp number one. It will be Cole Perry out in front of the field leading this one. Paul DeRutter second. And hang on, Joey Wilcox goes for an alternate off-road excursion. Oh, my, hard hit down there into the infield as uh, he has brought up some water into the inside portion of turn number two. And we are going to go caution. There is some water over there in turn number two that has been brought up on the racetrack. So... We want to get the drivers uh, running through that. Joey Wilcox went through the infield over there, kind of splashed a little bit of water up onto the speedway. So we want to get uh, that taken care of. So surveying the racetrack over there in turn number two, making sure that all the water is off of there. Of course, uh, obviously this being a clay surface, we uh, get a little bit of water on it. It'll make it pretty treacherous over there in turn number two. So we've uh, got that taken care of. White flag being displayed. Two laps down. Four more to go in the one and only heat. 
for the Donneth Motor Works Limited Sportsman coming up next will be the first of two heats on the Whitesboro Plow Shop Dirt Car 358 Modifieds. Once again, it's all about the feature wins here in the Donneth Motor Works Limited Sportsman. Cole Perry looking for his second win of the season. Paul DeRutter looking to get the bragging rights and saying that he won the most features in 2022. He currently has that honor. He's won four so far this year, but Keegan and Owen and I are going to have something to say about it. They've each got three wins this year. Look at the tie to Rudder here tonight off of turn number four. We're back to green. Cole Perry again. Good, strong restart. Jumps into the lead. Paul DeRutter right there with him off of turn number two for second as Keegan Nyer has taken over third from Tim Bailey. Owen Nyer right there behind him in spot number five as they motor into turn number three and a four. Back across the line for lap number three. We are halfway home. Three down, three more to go. Paul DeRutter is putting on the pressure to Cole Perry into turn number one and two. Keegan Nyer right there with him as well in third as they hustle down the back straightaway. Cole Perry, Paul DeRutter separated by about two car lengths apiece as they motor into turn number three and four with Keegan Nyer third, Tim Bailey and Owen Nyer top five. Joey Wilcox and Alan McDonald complete the field. Two to go this time by and Cole Perry who has done a lot of winning this year not only here at the Can-Am Speedway on Friday nights on dirt, also running a limited late model over at the Evans Mill Speedway on Saturday nights on the asphalt and doing very well over there. Off of turn number four, back across the line. White flag is in the air. Cole Perry leaves the bottom open for Paul DeRutter. That could be dangerous as Paul DeRutter very quick around this speedway. Working the inside lane. The white flag is in the air. Final trip around. Cole Perry down the back straightaway looking to claim another heat win here in 2022. Down into turn number three and four. Washes wind up off the turn. Here comes Paul DeRutter. One last shot at him. It's not going to happen. It will be Cole Perry collecting the win. His first heat win of the season, by the way, Paul DeRutter, Keegan Nyer, Owen Nyer, Tim Bailey, Joey Wilcox, and